Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We've got another unboxing, and today it is the Synology DS-119J. We're going to have a full review of this up soon on my main channel at Lon.tv, along with another uh, topic I'll be covering that will involve this as well. Uh, now this is under $100. It's a network-attached storage device. It is a single-drive network-attached storage device, so it is a little limited in that way. But if you use some of their included backup utilities, uh, you may not need to have a mirrored drive situation to have something usable. You'll just need to make sure you're very diligent about your backups. So let's take a look and see what we have inside the box here. This is the unit itself. It does not come with a hard drive. You need to install that, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. On the front here, you've got some indicator lights. You've got your power switch here. On the back, you've got two USB 2.0 ports, so you can connect up external storage to do on-site backups. I believe it can also work as a print server too, so it's got some additional things you can do with it. Gigabit Ethernet here, and your power input is there. It also has a spot for a Kensington lock, so you can secure it, and that way uh, nobody walks off with it. Uh, there's also a reset button here as well in case you forget your password and need to uh, reset the device. In here we've got uh, your power cable. Uh, this is a pretty low powered device. I think this one here is running at 12 volts at 3 amps. It doesn't consume all that much power, especially when it's idle. You get a gigabit ethernet cable here in the box. I believe this is Cat5e, I believe, or Cat, uh, yep, Cat5e, I think this one is, I believe. Uh, and it's good enough for what we're gonna do there. And then you have the adapter for uh, your region. So, oh, there's one other thing here. Let's take a look and see what is here. Looks like there's some screws to uh, get your hard drive secured in there too. All right, so let's open this thing up and see what is inside. Okay, so I unscrewed the screws here on the back, and what happens next is that you just slide the case back here uh, to get into the inside. And it looks like mine already came with a drive, so we're good to go on this front. The one you get likely won't. By the way, this is on loan from Synology, so when I'm done with this, it goes back to them. But as you can see here, the drive mounts in like so, and that's all you gotta do, just get the drive in there, put it back together, and power it up. Now for the types of drives to use, I would recommend that you look at a drive that's certified for a NAS. Seagate makes these Iron Wolf drives. Uh, these have some additional features in Synology uh, that you can use for evaluating the drive's uh, overall performance and uh, behavior. Uh, but there's also uh, red drives from WD that also work very well inside of these NAS boxes. And these drives typically are rated for uh, longer duty cycles. They can spin for a longer period of time before things go awry on them. Uh, they also typically come with longer warranties. So they do cost a little bit more, but because you're going to be uh, using this as a mini server, you might want to go for a slightly more robust drive uh, to get it all done. So now that this is all ready to go, I'm going to fire it up and uh, start my evaluation of it, and we'll have a full review coming soon on my main channel at lon.tv, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.